So how do you feel about this shot? You've got one chance to get it over the water onto the green. So mentally this becomes a bit of a challenge. So we, because of the water, it's like a magnet. It draws us, draws us into it. And uh, often, quite often, um, what people do on this shot is they just kind of almost close their eyes and hope for the best and hope that they can get the golf ball onto the green. But it doesn't have to be that way. There's some things that we can do that make the shot a whole lot easier. So the first thing is I've got 110 yards to the flag. Uh, this is actually a two tier green. Uh, now, if this was just a flat fairway, this wouldn't be an issue, but the fact that we've got some hazards in the way make it mentally a bit more challenging. So as it becomes mentally more challenging, we become physically tied up with it. So we start to tighten the body up. If you're in that state, you're not going to be very successful with this shot. So the first thing is let's take plenty of club. The worst thing we can do is finish short over the back of the greens not the worst place to be but short is that's going to put us in the hazard so i've chosen a pitching wedge here my pitching wedge goes about 120 normally so i can easily carry uh, onto the green from here so now i know that i've got the right club that's taking some pressure off me the next thing to pay attention to is your breathing if we start to, to breathe in quickly and we're we're taking shallow breaths deep breaths <laughs> we start to get tense, so let's keep that body nice and relaxed to start with. So the more relaxed you can feel over this shot, the better. The thing that you have to commit to on this shot is the loft of the club is going to do the lifting, not our bodies. The worst thing we can do from here is lean backwards and try and help that golf ball up in the air. Commit to finishing your golf swing, finish on your front foot and make sure that you're transferring your weight correctly. So let's aim, aim ourselves towards our target, nice and relaxed over the golf ball. I've got plenty of club to get me there. Now we can just make a smooth swing up onto the green. So that's just finished on the top level of the green. Uh, I've now got about a 20 foot put, no stress. I'm actually on a tee, so I did tee that one up slightly, but I wasn't too tight on that one I felt very smooth and relaxed and the outcome is on the green put for birdie if we don't knock that in a simple uh, three and walk off with a par so on these ones make sure you've got plenty of club keep your body relaxed commit to your finish and I'm certain that you're going to be successful on these ones now, if you've got an event coming up, so let's say you're playing uh, in a competition or you want to do really well in a club championship or you're playing in a charity event or just a match with your friends, you're looking all over YouTube to try and find the answer to your problems and you're now probably starting to get confused. I think the worst thing to do is stand on that first tee with a head full of swing thoughts. It's not a good place to be. And that's why I started propergolfing.com. It's a membership website where you get instant access to hundreds of videos on there that will help you fully understand in a logical order what it is that you need to be doing to make your best golf swing and to play your best golf. Now, not only as part of that membership do you get access to the library, you'll also get monthly coaching sessions with myself as well as a weekly Zoom webinar that I host for people all over the world who come and really enjoy sharing our stories and learning together. So well worth having a look at propergolfing.com it really is the solution to your problems uh, and again if you like this video please feel free to leave a comment in the box below and i'll happily answer any questions that you have thanks for watching guys take care bye